Hi, hello, welcome to MedTube. Today we are going to discuss about skeleton structure of vertebrae. There are 33 vertebrae which are subdivided into 5 groups based on morphology and location. 7 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, 3 to 4 coccygeal. The size of vertebral bodies increases from cervical to lumbar. This is kyphosis, the outer curvature. This is lardosis, the inner curvature. Now let's discuss about typical vertebra. This is vertebral body which is weight bearing part of vertebra. This is vertebral arch. Forms the lateral and posterior parts of vertebral foramen. Vertebral arch consists of two pedicles and two lamina. This is spinous process. This is the site for muscle and ligament attachment. This is transverse process. This is site for articulation with ribs in the thoracic region. Now let's see lateral view. The region where pedicle joins the lamina are superior and inferior articular process. Each pedicle is notched on its superior and inferior surfaces that form superior and inferior vertebral notches which participate in forming intervertebral foramina. Now let's start with cervical vertebrae. The cervical vertebrae are identified by the presence of foramina transverse area. There are 7 cervical vertebrae out of which 3 to 6 are typical while the first 2nd and 7th are atypical. Now let's talk about atypical first cervical vertebra which is also known as atlas. This is anterior tubercle. This is posterior tubercle. It has short anterior arch and long posterior arch. It forms about two-fifths of the ring, but it lacks vertebral body and spine. This is foramen transverse area. This is transverse process. This is vertebral canal. This is superior articular facet or lateral mass. Now let's see second cervical vertebrae. This is also known as axis. This is identified by the presence of dense or odentite process. This is tooth like structure presenting upwards from the body. This is vertebral body. This is vertebral canal. There are two oval facets. This is foramen transverse area. This is transverse process. This 
the lamina and the spine which is bifid. Last but not least the seventh cervical vertebra which has long spinous process. This is vertebral body. This is superior articular process. This is vertebral foramen. And the lamina. Now let's see the difference between typical and atypical vertebrae. The main differentiating characteristics are body, anterior arch, posterior arch, spinous process, superior articular facets. Typical vertebrae were 3 to 6, C1, C2, C7. Body is present in typical vertebrae C2, C7 but absent in C1. Anterior arch is present only in C1. Posterior arch is present in all of these. The spinous process is bifid in all typical vertebrae and C2 but absent in C1, single and long in C7. Superior articular facets have been shaped in all cervical vertebrae except in C2 which is oval in shape.